couldn't ask for better camping weather today. Look at that. Good evening ladies and gentlemen. I just got in the woods but there's some dog walkers about so I'm going to quietly get set up in the hammock tonight. I've got the new under hammock from DD to try out tonight. Keep me warm hopefully. Never had one before so we shall see. Anyway, I'm going to get set up. Well, I think she's reached the part where if I'm going to get caught, I'm going to get caught. So I've put a light on and I'll show you my setup for tonight. So I've got three by three tarp and DD hammocks, obviously. DD hammocks, hammock there. I've got a new addition, the under blanket tonight. It's got a little ridge line with pocket slidey thing that came with a mosquito net. Don't need that anymore. There's that little torch that I showed you. Got a little seat down here and a fuel hand lantern. Bag's just there. So that is tonight's setup with a Corinthia again. It's the only one I've got. And that army surplus inflatable mattress. So yeah, hopefully this will keep me nice and warm tonight. Let's we'll see what happens, but for now. I'm going to dim the lights, get the fuel hand lit up, and then I'm going for a little head torch stroll to find some wood to cut up. Process some wood and get the fire going next, and then we can get dinner on. I've got my gas bottle in case. We'll see how it goes. Alright, back with you soon. Well, have I got a funny story now? Um, I just finished filming the last clip, and I lit the lantern grabbed my saw, went off to, just about to walk off, get some wood. I seen his lights. Like, who's that? So I quickly jumped for the lantern, turned it out. I stood there watching. And then those lights go out across the light, just across there, across the woods. Like, who's that, man? A dog walker in the dark, no way. Then. Well, maybe it was, well, could have been, but, you know. Anyway, I'm standing there. The moon's quite bright, so I'm like hid behind a tree in the shadow. <laughs> and um, I'm watching, and the lights are out. And then they're coming on again, just quickly, and they're out again. So I'm like, see, for another camper, and he's seen my lights, and he's trying to use as little light as possible, which is cool. In stealth camping, wicked. Oh, it's, I don't know. They just kept coming on now and then. So I'm hiding there for ages. I am frozen now because I've been like, who's that? And <laughs> I've just worked out. Every time I see light, there's like car noise. So I've never camped in these woods before. And obviously all the leaves are gone. You look, the car lights are making it through. But it doesn't have to look like a torch that's just over there, you know, moving around. All the light plays your eyes, doesn't it? But... Yeah, it's cars going by, so I've just been stood there for absolutely no reason. Never mind, I have just been off and found some wood. Got some big old lengths there to chop up. So I'm going to get chopping that because I am absolutely frozen. So the quicker I get that fire on, the better. I haven't even started dinner or nothing. It's been standing there like a plonger looking at car lights. Never mind. It's all part of the fun. <laughs> I think I played it out right though. Could have been a lunatic over there. Who knows? That's what that's the game we play, isn't it? Never mind, let's crack on with this. Fire's lit, got some wood here, and just to top it all off, the fuel hand wick has run out, and I didn't bring none with me, so we've got no fuel hand light tonight, which I love, don't really want to sit with a torch on, it's so unnatural, and I'm going to warm up, and then I'll get on with dinner soon, but oh, what a night so far, man, <laughs> Well, the wood's all damp, as you'd expect, so 
the fire is going, but it's so up and down. I'm not going to cook it. I've got the gas bottle out. You know, I've got uh, jalapeno burgers tonight. Well, jalapeno pates and beans. So I'm going to get on with cooking that. It's perked up again, but I think I'll stick with a gas bottle and torch light. Ugh. Can't beat the fewer hands light. Oh, I am missing that. What a plonker. Should be carrying wick with me, but there you go. Let's cook some dinner. Beans at the ready. I miss you. <laughs> Jalapenos and beans, oh dear. Gonna be fun. Well, that's about as much as we're getting out of that tonight. It's, it's up and down, damp wood. Well, what can you do? It don't matter. It's just one of those nights, isn't it? It don't always go to plan, doesn't always have to go to plan. Still out in the woods and I still gonna have a good night. Looking forward to getting in that hammock. Let's test out that under blanket. That's gonna be so good if that's warm. Can't wait. Dinner's almost ready now, so tuck into that in a sec. Well, dinner is served. How appetizing does that look? <laughs> That'll do. Eat this and then we'll get that fire going. Stoke it around a bit, hopefully we'll get some flames. That is getting chilly now. The moon's really bright tonight. It's crazy how much it lights up. I never noticed it before until I've done this. Crazy, like patches of wood, especially with the silver birches dotted through. They're like glowing, it's crazy. Look, avatar. Current state of the fire, bit of flamage. And just getting a tea on the go. Got some uh, fruit tea tonight. <clears throat> Gonna try fruit tea. And there's all these expensive ones like twinings and stuff but the best one I've found is Sainsbury's cheapest ones like I think they're 70p a box they're the most fruitiest ones you can get that's if you're into them I like them because it's no sugar no milk less to carry yeah too much sugar in your diet probably not a good thing it's a good way to avoid it with a hot drink Well, I'm sat in almost just pitch black, to be honest. <laughs> the fire's doing that. I've got a cup of tea on the go there. And uh, I've got a little bit of torch light down there. Just a tiny bit of light. But yeah, other than that, I stuck the edge torch on just to film this bit. But turn it off, it's pretty much pitch black. But you know what? I love it. <laughs> Crazy as it is, it's a lovely still night. Yeah, if we hear any van banging noises tonight, they can take the bloody thing. I'm staying put tonight, I ain't doing that again. Should have just stayed put anyway, but there you go. I had to go and have a look last week. <laughs> there you go. I'm just gonna sit here, get that little bit of warmth off the fire that I'm getting. And uh, chill for a while. Well, I'm in the hammock. The fire's not raging at all. I got some warmth from it. Got me warm. Finished my tea. I thought it's time to get in. I don't know what the time is. Um, it's 10 o'clock, so not bad really. Uh, under blanket, 
a little bit of adjusting to keep it up to you but uh, yeah it's definitely working I am warm and the sleeping bags wide open at the minute and I'm still warm on the back and the backs of the legs I didn't know whether to put the um, mattress in or not if you're supposed to or not I did still warm anyway so maybe it's more effective without it though I don't know don't know didn't research it enough but there you go well the fire's got a couple of logs on it can't really see it till oh, there it is just a gentle glow to watch I should just sit and watch those and then fall asleep I think so see you in the morning good night good morning it's about half six I literally woke up, turned on my side, and someone's dog was <laughs> sniffing below me. So I had to lay dead still. And yeah, it went after a while, but that was fun. So the old dog walkers are about. So I'm going to wait for a bit more light and then I pack up and go. But yeah, I need a spot that's well away from everyone. It gets a bit busy here, but it's all right though. Right, I'm gonna hide a bit longer and then get cleared up. Well, that concludes another camp out. All my stuff's packed away down there. Got my rubbish, leave no trace and all that. Got a beautiful sunrise over there. Anyway, I've got to disappear before I get caught and uh, start the daily chores and thanks for liking and subscribing and commenting it's been an amazing response just from a little video you know thank you all very much see you soon